what is up everyone this is the oklahoma prepper and thanks for watching today we're going to check out the garden we're going to do a little bit of harvesting so stick around and check this video out hi right, guys so we are out here in my garden as you can see there's my tomatoes jalapenos and habaneros uh, they're doing okay. I've actually been doing quite a bit of harvesting, mostly just the jalapenos. As you guys can see, I'm going to see, let me see if you guys can see it on the screen. I mentioned earlier in the intro, we're going to be doing some harvesting today. I'm just going to harvest some okra. I've already pulled some jalapenos out of the garden today and one squash. I have one, two, three, four, five, six squash out of way more than that that I've I started grasshoppers just killed everything I'm surprised they haven't killed all of my okra they've taken a few of them out about five or six of them but I've still got plenty of okra um, I've got right here I've got my there's my tomatoes right here jalapenos and then habaneros or jalapenos right here that actually is a habanero that big one but uh, I don't know if you guys can see in the camera but my romas are loaded down. Let's go take a look at them real quick. You guys can see right there, the romas are just loaded. I mean, I've got a bunch of them right here. Right here, you can see a couple of uh, uh, tomatoes that got kind of eat up and ruined. And I just kind of threw them in there to uh, hopefully have some volunteers come up. Uh, these are romas, beef masters, beef masters, Cherokee purples. Uh, I got all kinds of different tomatoes out here, but yeah, my romas are doing really good right now. I'm going to try to make this a quick harvest because the gnats and the flies and all kinds of other stuff, mosquitoes are just trying to kill me out here. So I'm going to make this a quick harvest. Right now, like I said, I'm just going to do some uh, okra because they are getting to be the size that need to be harvested. In fact, one of them is about, oh, easily about six inches. Uh, and I might have to, uh, hopefully it's not too tough. So let's get started. So there is the first one right there I'm going to harvest. And you guys can see it. It is right here. That's a good three inches. So I'm just going to take my knife in here and just slice it off. Be careful not to cut, cut the stock. Good three, four inch uh, squash right there or uh, okra. All right, there's the next one we're gonna harvest. Uh, and this one is the one I was talking about that may be too tough by now. Th these are Clemson spineless. So I'm not worried about any thorns or anything uh, to cut me up. Look how big that one is. Easily six inches right there. You see a difference between three and the three inch okra right here, this bigger one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get finished harvesting. Uh, you guys can watch me, but I'm gonna try to get this done as quickly as possible because it is hot and all the bugs are getting me. And I wanted to let you guys know that as much as I wanted this to be as organic as possible, Oh man, I don't know if you guys can see in the camera, but look at that big one right over there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but anyways, I wanted to do as organic as possible. I didn't want to do chemicals, pesticides, but the grasshoppers are absolutely killing everything. In fact, you can see one crawling right about here somewhere. I'm sure you guys can see it on the camera. But uh, yeah, right there, there he is. They are just killing everything. So uh, I did unfortunately have to use seven dust on them, uh, on my plants, which really didn't do any good. But anyways, enough blabbing, let's get to uh, cutting. I'm gonna set my okras down here. Look at this guy right here, see? I'm just using just a regular fillet knife to cut these up with. Some of these are ready to go, some of these are beyond ready to go, and some of these are not ready to go. 
So I'm just kind of picking and choosing as I go along. Probably sharp my knife. What do y'all think? Look at that one. It never fails. Every time I do a video, trains are doing work. But got to keep, uh, got to keep America moving, huh? Because here on the UP, we do deliver. We do, will deliver. That's Union Pacific's their motto. And the bear and the lady have decided to join me. What's up doggos? Look at this guy, another big one. There's the lady. Watch her, she's funny guys. Sounds like a train's an emergency. Look at this. Five pretty good sized squash. Two are absolutely giant. That's starting to get tough. Go away, bear. He's wanting to be in a video too. Look at the lady. She's just eating dirt. Come on, lady. <laughs> you having trouble standing up there, Weenie? Come on, lady. Come on, the lady. Come on, baby girl. Come on. <laughs> All right, guys. So check out this harvest for the day. These are the okra I just picked. I picked these two jalapenos earlier. Nice. Uh, these are supposed to be, I think, giant. Some kind of giant. Uh, but I pick them early because grasshoppers are eating them. It's crookneck squash. I love uh, slicing it up and throwing it in some potatoes and onions and a little bit of butter or olive oil and then some slap your mama seasoning and uh, cooking it up like that, frying it. Actually, not really frying it, but uh, cooking it in uh, in a foil pack on the grill while I'm doing some deer steaks or deer sausage pork chops whatever I decide to have that day it's really awesome let's take a look at some more of my jalapenos so there are there's the other three jalapenos uh, I harvested these about two days ago see there's the other two that I just showed y'all I harvested these about two days ago and I'm telling you uh, I I took a plate out similar to this um, one of these little paper plates I took it out there and I loaded this thing down with um with jalapenos and some of them were huge some of them were almost about as big around if not you know yeah about as big around as this this uh okra right here bigger than my thumb i mean look at that that's way bigger than my thumb and uh about as long too uh about this big i mean they, they, 
these jalapenos were huge. I, I should have took a picture and uh, and did a video with them, but hopefully, I'm sure I'll get some more if the grasshoppers don't eat me out of a house and home. But I mean, look at these. Um, you know, it, it's awesome to be able to go out and pick your own food, you know, grow your own food, pick your own food. The tomatoes, I haven't had too many of them come in yet, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm waiting on them. Uh, you know, hopefully they'll be in soon. So, yeah, look at the, look at these jalapenos. These things are huge. Some of these are about as big as my hand. I mean, look at that. I mean, look at this okra, though. This okra is about, that's close to about seven or eight inches right there. So, yeah, there we go. <clears throat> All right, guys. Uh, so I wanted to make this clear. Unfortunately, um, as if I didn't er earlier, unfortunately, due to the grasshoppers, I had to use something, some kind of pesticide, and I really did not want to, but um, it is what it is. Unfortunately, we've had this absolute enormous explosion of gra uh, grasshoppers this year, and it's really, uh, it's really rough because, you know, I've lost over 400 plants to them. And what you guys saw out there in the garden is what I have left. In fact, all of my red onions, um, I came back from Oklahoma City uh, for a weekend uh, uh, job that I had to do. And, and uh, <clears throat> you would think that somebody walked out there and cut the tops off of all of my onions at the base because they were just absolutely just shredded. Um, so unfortunately with that, I, you know, I'm still trying to save them. I don't think it's going to work. Um, so I'm just, uh, it's aggravating. It's frustrating because last year during hunting season was really stressful for me because, um, <clears throat> you know, I know, I know I have some viewers that aren't big fans of honey and I've got some vegan viewers and stuff like that, and I do apologize. Uh, but uh, I, I made it work. I made it a job to go hunting rather than, you know, normal people just go out and enjoy the day and just sit in their deer stand all day. If they get a deer, they, then that's, that's great. If not, then oh well, you know. A bad day hunting is, a, you know, what is it they say? A bad day hunting is... Uh, better than a good day at work, you know. I, I like them both the same. I like I like hunting and I like you know work. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, you know I I put a lot of uh, a lot more I put a lot of money into hunting <clears throat> this year than I really wanted to. Uh, my bows, you guys know that my bows were inexpensive. Everything that I was able to get, I was blessed, you know, with some very inexpensive stuff. But there is a lot of stuff that I did. <coughs> I have to go out and buy brand new. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me. I did have to go buy brand new and, uh, you know, wasn't very inexpensive. Uh, hunting can be expensive. I probably got about $700 tied up and and hunting gear from last year luckily a lot of it i can reuse this year uh some of the clothes uh i only I only took down one deer so i've got three good broadheads left i need to clean up that other one uh i need to I'm, i need to take it apart clean it and store it i should have done that immediately afterwards that was my neglect negligence my neglect um <clears throat> so i couldn't really do that well, I, I just didn't do that um, but I've still got a couple of, uh, good hunts with that one broadhead, uh, and the bow. I've got probably two more hunts with one more hunt with the bow or the, uh, the, uh, bolt and two more good hunts with the broadhead. Um, but, uh, <clears throat> so instead of, uh, making it you know, an adventure, you know, a, a day in the woods, a hanging out day in the woods. I made it a mission. You know, I'm hungry. 
I've got to get food on the table. This is how I'm going to do it. So if I don't get six deer this year, I'm not going to eat very much. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I only got one small buck. Um, however, um, I was again blessed. My fire chief is a good guy. Um, not this fire department, which that guy, that guy was a good one too. But uh, I've since I've been here, I've moved back home away from that department. So, um, um, <clears throat> but my fire chief's a really great guy, and I consider him a friend. Uh, I work for him personally uh, when he needs stuff done around his ranch. Um, and he's just an awesome guy. He's just an awesome guy. Good to hang out with. Just a really good, all-around good guy. <clears throat> so he hooked me up <clears throat> with quite a bit of deer sausage this year. I mean, a lot. Um, I was planning on just kind of eating it, you know, one or, you know, two, maybe splurge and do two meals a day, you know, two meals in a day of uh, meat the rest would be vegetables and stuff like that he said no kill that stuff man i've got more so i said okay and you know i told him i said hey if you're still ready to give me some deer meat i'm i'm about out if not it's okay man he loaded me up again <clears throat> so i'm just man i can't wait for october um Deer sausage all year, and some deer steaks, uh, uh, deer jerky. Um, man, my fire chief's a great guy. He's an awesome guy. He's he's just awesome. Love it. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, uh, you know, I made it about work and instead of uh, making it about fun. And that's what I did with this garden. I made the mistake of making it about work. Uh, you know, this is not my job. This is my livelihood. If I don't you know, if this doesn't work, um, I'm out a lot of money, which not really a lot of money because actually I am because I bought a tiller, I bought some tools, I bought some pesticides, I bought the seeds, um, the fuel for the tiller, fuel for the tractor. You guys remember that video when I plotted up with a box blade. That takes a lot of time. <clears throat> And not to mention the time. <clears throat> that takes a lot of time and money to run the equipment, you know, that I have. And to get out there, the water bill, um, which I've been lucky enough that we've had a good rain um, this spring. And I think it's, I think we're finally starting to get into the drought. So um, uh, what little bit of rainwater I have is about to have to go on to the uh, plants. Um, after that, it's going to have to be rural water. So uh, I'm not really excited about that because, um, <clears throat> man, I can tell you what, I can go out there and water my garden all day long and, I mean, saturate the ground. And then three days later, a good rain come in and next thing you know, everything is boom. Everything just blew up. Lots of blooms, lots of fruits, uh, lots of growth noticeable overnight from a rain. Not a heavy garden or heavy watering, just a really nice rain. So that goes to show that the chemicals in your water are stunning or, you know, they're just not good for your plants. <clears throat> so, that being said, um, you know, I made the mistake of making this my job rather than just having fun with it and just learning. So I'm just going to take a step back and just l let it ride and see how things go from there. <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry for rambling on, as always. Um, <clears throat> but if you uh, are excited to see any new content, hit that like uh, button, hit that thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And that way you can get uh, notified if you hit that notification icon to any new content that I put out. So, um, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Stay safe and keep prepping. <clears throat> All right, guys. Uh, so, I wanted to make this clear. Unfortunately, um, 
as if I didn't earlier. Unfortunately, due to the grasshoppers, I had to use something, some kind of pesticide, and I really did not want to, but um, it is what it is. Unfortunately, we've had this absolute enormous explosion of gra uh, grasshoppers this year, and it's really, uh, it's really rough because, you know, I've lost over 400 plants to them. And what you guys saw out there in the garden is what I have left. In fact, all of my red onions, um, I came back from Oklahoma City uh, for a weekend uh, uh, job that I had to do. And, and uh, <clears throat> you would think that somebody walked out there and cut the tops off of all of my onions at the base because they were just absolutely just shredded. Um, so unfortunately... With that, I, you know, I'm still trying to save them. I don't think it's going to work. Um, so I'm just, uh, it's aggravating. It's frustrating because last year during hunting season was really stressful for me because, um, <clears throat> you know, I know, I know I have some viewers that aren't big fans of hunting and, and I've got some vegan viewers and stuff like that. And I do apologize uh, but, uh, I, I made it work. I made it a job to go hunting rather than, you know, normal people just go out and enjoy the day and just sit in their deer stand all day. If they get a deer, they, then that's, that's great. If not, then, oh, well, you know, a bad day hunt is a, you know, what is it? They say a bad day hunting is uh, better than a good day at work, you know? I like them both the same. I like I like hunting and I like you know work. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, you know I I put a lot of uh, a lot more I put a lot of money into hunting <clears throat> this year than I really wanted to. Uh, my bows, you guys know that my bows were inexpensive. Everything that I was able to get, I was blessed, you know, with some very inexpensive stuff. But there is a lot of stuff that I did. <coughs> I have to go out and buy brand new. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me. I did have to go buy brand new and, uh, you know, wasn't very inexpensive. Uh, hunting can be expensive. I probably got about $700 tied up and and hunting gear from last year luckily a lot of it i can reuse this year uh some of the clothes uh i only I only took down one deer so i've got three good broadheads left i need to clean up that other one uh i need to i'm i need to take it apart clean it and store it i should have done that immediately afterwards that was my neglect negligence my neglect um <clears throat> so i couldn't really do that well, I, I just didn't do that um, but I've still got a couple of, uh, good hunts with that one broadhead, uh, and the bow. I've got probably two more hunts with one more hunt with the bow or the, uh, the, uh, bolt and two more good hunts with the broadhead. Um, but, uh, <clears throat> so instead of, uh, making it, you know, an adventure, you know, a, a day in the woods, a hanging out day in the woods. I made it a mission. You know, I'm hungry. I've got to get food on the table. This is how I'm going to do it. So if I don't get six deer this year, I'm not going to eat very much. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I only got one small buck. Um, however, um, I was again blessed. My fire chief is a good guy. Um, not this fire department, which that guy, that guy was a good one too, but, uh, I've since I've been here, I've moved back home away from that department. So, um, um, <clears throat> but my fire chief's a really great guy and I consider him a friend. Um, uh, I work for him personally, uh, when he needs stuff done around his ranch, um, and he's just an awesome guy. He's just an awesome guy. Good to hang out with. Just a really good, all-around good guy. <clears throat> so he hooked me up. 
<clears throat> with quite a bit of deer sausage this year. I mean, a lot. Um, I was planning on just kind of eating it, you know, one or, you know, two, maybe splurge and do two meals a day, you know, two meals in a day of uh, meat. The rest would be vegetables and stuff like that. He said, no, kill that stuff, man. I've got more. So I said, okay. And, you know, I told him, I said, hey, if you're still ready to give me some deer meat, I'm, I'm about out. If not, it's okay. Man, he loaded me up again. <clears throat> so I'm just, man, I can't wait for October. Um, deer sausage all year, some deer steaks, uh, uh, deer jerky. Um, man, my fire chief's a great guy. He's an awesome guy. He's, he's just awesome. Love it. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, uh, you know, I made it about work and instead of uh, making it about fun, and that's what I did with this garden. I made the mistake of making it about work. Uh, you know, this is not my job. This is my livelihood. If I don't, you know, if this doesn't work, um, I'm out a lot of money, which not really a lot of money because actually I am because I bought a tiller. I bought some tools. I bought some pesticides. I bought the seeds. Um, the fuel for the tiller, fuel for the tractor. You guys remember that video when I plowed it up with a box blade. That takes a lot of time, <clears throat> and not to mention the time. <clears throat> that takes a lot of time and money to run the equipment, you know, that I have, and to get out there the water bill, um, which I've been lucky enough that we've had a good rain. Um, this spring and I think it's I think we're finally starting to get into the drought so um, uh, what little bit of rainwater I have is about to have to go on to the uh, plants um, after that it's going to have to be rural water so uh, I'm not really excited about that because um, <clears throat> man I can tell you what I can go out there and water my garden all day long and I mean saturate the ground and then three days later a good rain come in and next thing you know everything is boom everything just blew up lots of blooms lots of fruits uh, lots of growth noticeable overnight from a rain not a heavy garden or heavy watering just a really nice rain so that goes to show that the chemicals in your water are stunning or, you know, they're just not good for your plants. <clears throat> so, that being said, um, you know, I made the mistake of making this my job rather than just having fun with it and just learning. So, I'm just going to take a step back and just l let it ride and see how things go from there. <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry for rambling on, as always. Um, but if you are excited to see any new content, hit that like button, hit that thumbs up button, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. And that way you can get uh, notified if you hit that notification icon to any new content that I put out. So, um, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Stay safe and keep prepping.